Hello everyone, this video outlines Multicharts' dome window, which is their own advanced version of what's more commonly referred to as a price ladder. If you've already watched my video on using the chart trading pad for order entry directly from the chart, you will notice that the dome window has pretty much the same functionality for entering orders, but caters to those who prefer to work directly with numbers than something more visual like a plotted chart. You'll notice many of the same one-click entry buttons and drag and drop icons for certain order types are available for use in this window as well. Exactly how the chart trade pad was configured, you must select the broker profile and the account from the drop-down menus. You must also select a contract for the dome window by clicking the lookup window icon and selecting it from your list or, if you already know it, manually typing it in. One minor difference in the dome window's order management is that instead of cancel bids and cancel asks buttons, as shown on the chart trading tool, the dome window has two large X's at the bottom of both the buy and sell columns that will function the same way. One of the first things I suggest doing is customizing the font and the colors of this window so you're as comfortable visually as possible. These menus can be accessed by right clicking on the outer gray area of the window. Here you will find where you can switch to a dynamic price ladder and an option to prevent the bid and ask sizes from being rounded and abbreviated as well. Also, if you don't plan on using the drag and drop place order or exit strategy icons, you can hide them by clicking on the little arrows as such, which will save you some screen space. An interesting thing to note about this window is that it has a stick window function, where if activated in the upper right as shown, will allow for the window to remain in front of all other windows allowing you to keep an eye on price and your orders and positions while moving other things around your screen. Another nice thing is how flexible they are with order entry methods. If you don't like the drag and drop feature you can right click in either the buy or sell columns of your desired price level and specify the order type from that menu that appears. One important thing to note is, if you're trying to place an order well off the current market price, you're going to have to move your price ladder up or down to find that price level. This can be done by clicking and holding in the price column and moving your mouse up and down, or by scrolling your mouse's wheel up or down after a single left click anywhere in the price column. This concludes my video on the dome window. Thanks for watching.